What's up everybody, 915 Mang here doing a video today. I am replacing the RW 15s for some different wave makers, the QP 16s. These are pretty good. Actually, I'm gonna I'm not gonna throw them away. I am gonna use them for a different build. Um, I did try putting them in my 20 gallon long, but the problem is that uh, they pushed water too too much water even at the lowest settings. I do like them because they have a feed mode. Uh, which is really important because um, I just push the feed mode and then they kick back on in 10 minutes. So like typical reefers, I know you all want to try new equipment. I know I do. I'm always constantly changing my setup and my tanks. Um, that's just the way reefers are. Um, these QP16s, I picked them up from reefbreeders.com. Uh, they sell lights, LEDs, which they're famous for. And they sell other products like these pumps. Um, the reason why I got this is because I want to eliminate the two RW15s and the gyre that I'm using. Um, there are videos, unboxing, and things like that, but I, I wanted to go ahead and show you a, like a close-up uh, on this tank. The, the brick is pretty good size, but the thing that is really huge is this controller. Um, it's massive. That's what she said. But in a serious note, the thing that I like is it does not have any knobs. The RW15 that I did have, the knob broke off pretty much easily because I got it used. Um, and other than that, I like that you can sync these. The problem that I was having is that the RW15s, they do push a lot of water. But since I want to get into the SPS game, um, I want to increase my flow quite a bit. Um, I had the RW15s pointed up towards the surface. And uh, I also had a gyre there to help move, uh, make different wave patterns for the corals to grow. For example, the Monopora, you'll see that they uh, start growing really cool once you have good flow. They'll just take off and make some good uh, shells. I'll do a close-up on that later on, or you can look back in the old videos. But you can see the size comparison. The QP16 on the left is the cleaner uh, pump. And on the right is the RW15. They're about the same size, a little bit different. One's more rounded, one's more squared. And uh, for sure, the RW15 uh, is still good. And I'm going to be uh, cleaning it out because it is full of bubble algae. Now, I do want to show you the pump on and show you the amount of water that it's actually pushing. I know a lot of you are hardcore Ecotech fans, uh, Gyre fans. And things like that, but uh, for right now, I'm gonna just use these because my uh, JBO products have been working. Like I said, this is a coral box product, but it is pushing a lot of water. I turned it on, and lots of detritus started flowing. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the uh, softies, how much they're flowing, and this is a, a pretty good wave and surface agitation. The reason why I wanted a lot of surface agitation is because. With the older pumps, I was having a hard time uh, getting this kind of movement, and that's because uh, they were just too weak. Um, I was getting a film on the surface, and these are obviously taking care of that. You can see that these uh, softies are actually moving quite a bit, and it I like the soft corals moving like that because it gives uh, life to the tank. Like I said, I do want to step into the SPS, get into the acros, things like that try to get some sticks in here so that's why I, I decided to go ahead and increase the flow in the tank another thing that I did I got my little frag box right here this is for uh, my glue I hold my glue I hold my plugs but uh, for right now I wanted to go ahead and restock my super glue this is the dollar glue that I pick up from Dollar Tree it's the gel glue and it works real good um, I got all this for under 10 bucks my my skimmer is doing really good this is on my 20 gallon and uh, as you can see the skim mate is nice and dark um, before you could see that I would I had a little bit of a problem because I wasn't doing any uh, water changes and I started doing my water changes again and I'm also dosing uh, vinegar in here which is a carbon source which supercharges the bacteria and that bacteria eats that uh, nuisance algae brings down everything and uh, you can see my tank is looking a lot better and like I said in my last video when I picked up that Aquamax reactor I said that I hated bio pellets and someone asked me why do you hate bio pellets and the reason why is because 
Um, I just had a lot of problems with it. They get clogged, they have to tumble, they make equipment messy. And with vinegar, I have more control. It's the same thing as uh, bile pellets because it's still carbon dosing. And it's uh, I use a cheap Walmart vinegar, distilled vinegar. And as you can see, things are looking a lot better. But I still went to the uh, LFS and went ahead and picked up a few things. They changed it up a little bit on me. I went to uh, Sea Creatures and uh, they're a little bit more organized now. And it's a lot easier to find inverts and things like that. Snails. I almost picked up this little guy right here. Um, I know I have the pods for it. But uh, I don't know. Maybe later on in a, in a different date. I'm always a little bit nervous, but I know some of you guys have yours trained to eat frozen and pellets and things like that. Um, that I'll probably mess around with that later on. Uh, Harlequin shrimps, everything's nicely labeled, and uh, they really did step it up. Um, I like the fact that the this I have quite a bit of LFSs in uh, El Paso, and that makes the other LFSs have to step it up. And it's just better for us, the consumer. The customers and uh, we get better LFS's out of it. Another cool thing that they did, they stepped it up with a huge frag tank. Uh, it takes up half the store, but it looks great. Um, the other one that they had, it was a uh, thinner acrylic. Um, it was bowing on one of the videos. I had uh, somebody say, "Hey, look at that huge bow! Uh, it makes the store look cleaner." And uh, while I was here, I picked up some turbos. And of course, I looked at the uh, fish selection. I, I put the turbo in here, and right away it started cleaning up for me. Having turbos in your tank is a great uh, addition, great cleanup crew. They're going to constantly be uh, scrubbing your tank, eating up all the algae, and uh, they're just remote control. You put them in there, and they go to town and eat your stuff. Now, another thing that I wanted to go ahead and say I did have turbos in here before, but I was dosing. This tank was that Phosphate RX. I think that the Phosphate RX uh, was too concentrated or something. And I had issues because I actually lost some snails. And I had some big snails too. I know they say it's reef safe and all that. But I'm just letting you guys know what happened to me. also picked up this great fish. It is a yellow eye cold tank. I put it in the 20 gallon tank. Uh, once again, this is not a quarantine tank. This is just an observation tank. Put him in here because if he's going to die, he's going to die right away. If he has a disease, he's going to, you know, just die right away. And uh, I put him in here so I can take, keep an eye on him, feed him, get him used to it. And, of course, I'm acclimating him in the tank with the lights down. But for right now, I just have it, the lights on so you guys could check it out. The yellow eye cold tang is an awesome fish. I love the purplish color that he has. And, of course, the yellow eyes are great. What I did is I opened up the bag. I used a turkey baster, put a little bit of water in at a time. Uh, not not rapidly, but it was like over 10 minutes. I put a squirt in here and there. And then uh, go ahead and put them in the tank. Now when you get a new fish, do not use the fish water, the LFS water um, in your system. Put them in a net and then from there put the fish in your tank. And as you can see, looking at this tank a few days later, with the turbos and the vinegar dosing, this tank is looking a lot better. It's literally day and night. As you can see, the zoas are growing. Uh, I got a whole bunch. I got more. I wanted just to grow out and have a whole bunch of zoas. A little bit closer look of the zoas in the frag tank. Uh, I just love the colors. So lots of orange. I want to get different zoas and then just uh, grow them out from there. Now, I did mention having a different project coming up. This is a 20-gallon long. I am going to go ahead and jump up to the 40-gallon breeder. Uh, from 40-gallon breeder, I think I'll be happy with that tank. The dollar per gallon sale for Petco will be happening uh, July 9th. So if you have a Petco and you want to get into a tank, uh, 40 breeder is a good one, 20 gallons is a good one, and uh, go from there. Now, taking a look at the 180, uh, it's a lot of water volume. It's a six foot tank. It's up very high. Uh, the stand itself is 32 inches and then the tank itself is 32 inches. So it's right at eye level for me, which is awesome because all I have to do is stand up and look at it. 
I don't have to bend over or anything like that. All the corals are pretty much eye level. Now in a couple more weeks, I am going to move my yellow eye coal tank from the 20 gallon into the 180. I'm not going to rush it. I'm going to make sure that he is a eater, eats a lot. I'm going to get him nice and fat because right now he's a little tiny guy. And I'm going to get him in there. Then from there, I want to get a uh, couple of firefish. I like the three firefish that uh, Reef Builders has from Jake and his little cube. Uh, I want to do something like that. And then, of course, I want to add a yellow tang as the last addition to the tank. Well, hold on. Scratch that. I've been getting into fish lately, but I want to go ahead and get a couple more. I want to get some wrasse and then a yellow tang. And then I want to get um, maybe a couple of more fish just for the new tank build. Once I get my 40 breeder, probably uh, some maroon clowns. And that'll probably be it from there. So to keep up with all my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And thank you all very much for watching. Please uh, like, subscribe, share the video, text it to your buddy, post it on some forums, Facebook pages, and you guys take care. Thanks guys and have a good one.